Mm -hmm. It's time for some sibling mm -hmm. harmony. Ellie and I headed back into the continent of, oh, geez, Nova Stria or something like that. Ellie, good morning. Good morning. It is very early, especially for Ellie. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm tired this morning. <laughs> yeah, it, this does feel like a good day for sleeping. I looked outside and I was like, I guess I better call the bank. <laughs> Fun times. Oh yeah, it's like, what up, bank? And they're all There's like- something like banking and like taxes and all that stuff that just makes me feel dumb. <laughs> yeah, and tired. Let's uh, do it. How do, how do I play again? Uh, you know, there's a bunch of justice buttons. You have a teleport that is probably on your, if I was going to guess, triangle, maybe? You're correct, actually. Ha -ha! I was trying to think, if I was going to map a button to teleport and I was Ellie, where would I put that button? To be honest, I didn't pick that button. That's just where it ended up when I bought it. <laughs> <laughs> and where would it end up when I bought it? <laughs> Let me check the map. I'm, I have a... Nope, I, did, I almost fell for it again. I almost got okie doke again. Hmm? Maybe. I can't tell the difference between the ping and my cursor. Ping and your cursor? There's usually like a ping that indicates where we're supposed to go, but there's also a golden fire burst. Looking oh up. yeah, and you can move that. Yeah. Sort of. Yeah. I feel like, and I mean, it's not really bad or anything, but I feel like this game was made for computer and they didn't entirely change everything to fit consoles. Yeah. Some buttons where it's like, this is obviously a button, but they didn't make it a button here. And it's like, you know, it doesn't impede you from playing the game. It's just kind of odd. Oh, that's right. I have an ice elemental. Yes, ice elemental. Once we find a boss, I will unleash you upon the world. <laughs> yeah, Transistor. I still don't understand the plot to that game. <laughs> I played through it a couple times, and I still don't quite get it. <laughs> but I you've love even, <laughs> Yeah, you've even beaten other super giant games since then. Yep. Uh, both Pyre and Hades. <laughs> I understood beaten. the plots to Pyre and Hades a lot better. <laughs> did you ever play through Bastion? I did. No. That plot also pretty straightforward, all things considered. Yeah, it seems like that one I followed pretty well. I understood what was happening in Transistor. It's more like I didn't understand their world. Either the country is death or it's actually a literal country. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> the only thing I don't really understand is the setting. <laughs> the yeah, core yeah. setting within which the Were game Were they all on the computer place. or not? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and why is it that you're able to stop time and plan all your stuff out? Transistor magic. Transistor. Oh, right, man, you start the final boss fight. And he goes first, and he does all of the planning moves and everything. Oh, jeez. Well, that's not fair. Yeah, that's my <laughs> thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's not that a was, thing. That was a really well done moment. If I don't do the sound effects, the coal grenades don't hit as hard. Uh, that checks out. Okay, well, I don't have a teleport, but now I have a dash. Teleport! Okay. Oh, that wasn't a command to do it. Sorry, my bad. Wait, what's this? Card that was wobble. Here? <laughs> Dumper of coins. Dumper of coins. <laughs> oh. Um. Uh, okay. I'm not here to tell you how to control your brand. You know, that's not what I'm here to do. <laughs> I just am not sure about Dumper of coins. Yeah. I... And that's the one you, you get to pick. You didn't get to pick Hornswoggle or whatever his name was. Subwobble or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. That's a thing you have no control over. Sure. Blame your parents for that one. Sure. <laughs> But dumper of coins, surely you had some control over. I mean, I guess it could be one of those things where it's like you are the hero, whatever, and people start calling you something. The Butcher of Blaviken, I'm sure he didn't pick that one. No, I'm sure he picked that one. He was proud <laughs> of that moment. It is pretty rad. I'm trying to find fertilizer for the luck tree. That's all I'm trying to do. Mm -hmm. All I want to do is get that luck tree to level five. That's all I can oh, do. Oh, so this is actually Nick's Adventures in Gardening. Yes, it turns out this is actually all, this whole thing is a horticulture simulator. <laughs> if there was a luck tree that I could cultivate, I would. I have a tree that's called a money tree at my house. What is the deal with the money tree? Is it lucky or what's the... I don't know why it's called a money tree. <laughs> <laughs> I just like it because it's cute. Yeah. I have another one that I think might be a Chinese money plant, possibly. Also not <laughs> money, but it has cute round leaves. Nyaw. Oh, and I have a friendship plant. That one I do know why it's called friendship plant is because apparently it's very easy to grow new starts from that. So it's like, oh, you can give one to your friend. Oh, okay. So it's like a friendship bracelet, but it's a plant. Yeah. Yeah, that seems pretty friendly. Firebelly Stronghold. We must find the kennel. That didn't go so well when we went in uh, Darksiders Genesis. I was just thinking the same thing. 
I mean, it went fine in that we won. But yeah, that quest was, I think, too difficult because there were dogs in the fight with the guy and you can't target your moves super well. Yeah, they're, they're gonna be victims of collateral damage. Yeah, everything I feel sword. Like yeah, everything War's sword does is in a huge arc. A yeah, well, I mean, Stripe's bullets, lots of them, like, they arc to each other or they're just big areas. I feel like if you got to the dude without killing five dogs, that should have been enough. Yeah, seriously. Ooh, Speed sure. train! That poison, is that yours? Uh, yeah, the poison puddles. I have a dart, so that right there. Okay. I can run into it with free will. Whee! Yep. Run into it! Yep. Somehow my poison has an IFF situation in it. <laughs> <laughs> Able to easily identify friend or foe. All my stuff does too, somehow. I hope. Yeah, yeah. like your giant spikes. Your spikes are so rad, may I just say. <laughs> but like, I don't understand how they work or how it is they're able to move around like that. I picked up a legendary that makes it so there's a lightning strike now when I hit it too. Oh, that's really cool. Spider, kill it. Thunderstruck. I was amazed to find out about myself. So I tried out Phasmophobia last night. And first of all, we had a bit where every time you were killed by a ghost, you had to change code names. Because, of course, you're a different person. You're a different person, yeah. Yep, yep. So I started off as intern one, uh, as it was my first time. And then I became coach. And then I became quarterback. And then I became wide receiver. I feel like and... you may have died a lot. <laughs> well, see, here's the thing. What I discovered about myself is that I'm way more afraid of spiders than I am of ghosts. Oh. And so we would get to the end. And one of the sort of bonus objectives on every map is take a picture of the ghost. And I would always take incredibly large, some might argue, unnecessary risks trying to get a picture. Because you can win without doing it. Or like yeah. You can win without getting a picture of the ghost. But they, it wasn't, as long as it's never a giant spider ghost, I was like, oh yeah, well, I'll go in there, I'll say its name a whole bunch, it'll get real mad, <laughs> and then I'll take a picture of it. <laughs> and sometimes when you do that, as you may have guessed from they my number of code names, <laughs> they kill you. <laughs> I'm yeah. not going to play it because I am afraid of everything. <laughs> but I like how they implemented like the, the proximity chat and everything, the radio. Yeah. There were several times where I would go do the thing to try to take the picture of the ghost. And then I guess my radio just stops working as the yeah. ghost comes in to kill me. So all they hear is, I'm going to die. I'm in the kitchen. I got a picture. And then, <laughs> and then my radio cuts out. <laughs> Sorry, I'm going through my equipment real quick. Oh, good call. Yeah, I should do that as well. I had to finally tone that down as I, once I actually had some money and I was starting to bring in. I was yeah. like, oh, every time you die, you don't get your equipment back. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, dying is bad. <laughs> who, who knew about this? <laughs> Wait, am I using an axe or a pistol? Oh, both, somehow. You don't Wait, what? know what you're using? <laughs> if, uh, if you look at my gun in my inventory, it looks like an axe, but it also looks like it has a trigger. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, odd. Odd for sure. Um, I was watching someone play Phasmophobia and flashlights do the, the flashy thing when the ghosts are around. So they oh, both yeah. like, were hiding in the corner and talking to each other like, can, can the ghosts hear us? Like, I don't know, it doesn't seem like it. And they survived, but then later their chats were like, yeah, it, it can hear you. <laughs> you guys oh, yeah. are super lucky. <laughs> and sometimes if you say stuff like, can you hear me? It'll say yes. Oh. <laughs> or behind you. <laughs> they were also in the room with the ghost. I guess it just didn't feel like killing them. Maybe it felt sorry for them. <laughs> yeah, and I think it's it's also possible, because I, I successfully got a picture of several ghosts, and they I would like I would see them and they wouldn't kill me. I had enough time to like take a picture and then turn around and run away and hide or something. But sometimes, man, especially in the high school, that dude wanted to kill me. <laughs> <laughs> And then later I found out that my sanity apparently was at 9 out of 100. Eh, who needs sanity? Yeah, seriously, that's what I'm saying. Dying is bad for your health. You should <laughs> kick that habit. Yeah. And, your account. <laughs> and real bad, real expensive. I read a news article about somebody who, like, the bank declared her dead or something, and so she couldn't get access to her money or get the, like, loan or whatever it was she needed because they thought she was dead. She's like, I'm not, I'm not dead, though. Wait, the bank can do that? Like, they thought that she was dead for some reason, and it took her a while to convince them that she was alive. Huh. That's so strange. <laughs> yeah, it was bizarre. 
I want to stream it again soon. Hey, it's time for Tight End to shine. <laughs> <laughs> Tight End is the, the latest of the Brownstone uh, High School football team to join <laughs> to join oh, Sugar Freeze. Working way through the football team. Ghost Squad, yeah. We're just real good at killing heroes all of a sudden. I guess we've always have been, but like we're real good at killing heroes. Yep, I don't stand a chance. Wait, what's this red door looking thing on the map? I do not know. Perhaps we should poke it. Uh oh, we need a quest. Oh see, you can see the axe on the end of my pistol if I turn sideways like oh, this. Oh yeah. That's yeah. Easy. Um sugar free, just taking your quote completely out of context. <laughs> Posted it in the chat. Uh <laughs> Ellie two dollar bills. Working your way through the entire football team, huh? <laughs> oh. Okay, I go. <laughs> I guess we don't want to connect them. <laughs> look, okay, look, look. Context is important, guys. We are mature adults. Uh, I had to take both of my hands off the controller to do the air quotes. <laughs> I, re I rewatched the uh, Mystery Science Theater 3000 Star Crash episode. And I don't know what it is, because the bit is just kind of a silly bit, but when Stella Star gets captured and hung upside down in her saran wrap costume, <laughs> and the, the bots and Jonah are just like, oh, it, she seals, it seals in the juices, oh! <laughs> she makes her own gravy, yo! Oh! <laughs> cracks me up. <laughs> Man, I forgot about all her stupid outfits. Oh, they're, they're terrible. They're it's awful. Like, uh, so we need to, f okay, so we still haven't found the kennel? Yeah, so this is the lakeside clearing, is that where the- Mossrat Den, Watcher's Thicket. I mean, that door that I found said we need the quest that we're on, so we must have to do something before we can go in there. But since we're on that quest already, it seems like it should be in this area? Yeah. I don't know. Watcher's Thicket. Th th this one also needs the quest that we're on, but we can't go into it yet. Okay, so I guess it must be earlier in. We, we must have walked past a door or something, yeah. It must not have looked that important because we went right past it out! <laughs> <laughs> okay, this dock is a bust. I might be onto something here. Oh, yeah, I see the kennel on the map now. Yeah. Well, I accidentally shoulder charged into a barrel of fish, but in happier news, it turned out to be full of treasure. You probably stink now. I'm not gonna, like, get, you know, in all your gears and stuff. Yeah, fish oil is good for the knees, and so I assume also robot knees? Oh, I don't have knees. Oh, man. I, th I got tank treads right now. <laughs> Maybe it'll uh, keep it fish all working nice and smooth. Fish oil, great for the tank treads. Oh! <laughs> I didn't even, I was going to make a lubrication joke, but I was too focused on making sure to get the ow at the end that I forgot what I was going to say. The joke doesn't matter. All that matters is the delivery. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> how do you play again? I, I went through a doorway and I forgot how to play. There was a load screen, but I didn't actually finish loading in. Like, my, my brain <laughs> didn't finish <Yeah>. loading in. <laughs> my, my brain wasn't ready yet. <laughs> yeah. I had a dream about Star Wars last night. Oh, yeah. Not Star Crash. Nah, no, I had a lightsaber. Or, well, I guess there was a, there was like a sword of light in Star Crash, so maybe it was. Yeah, the illumination sword. It definitely was not a lightsaber, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for sure. Definitely not a lightsaber. I'll just press this keep going forward button. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. that was a mimic. No fair being a mimic. Oh, I got some legendary gloves. Nice. I'm a robot. Do I have gloves? Sure. Robots can be fancy. Who says robots can't dress up? Yeah. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait to find a, a part where we have to find a boss that we're gonna have to blast. I cannot wait. Oh, I should have equipped that instead of getting rid of it. I know I can <laughs> just take it back from my pet, but that's so much work. Yeah, you have to like tab over and like hit a button. Yoy. Yeah. Come on. Ain't got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ooh, plus one skill level to rapid fire. Oh, but now my gun's not also an axe. That's sad. <laughs> <laughs> Gun. It's like a yeah. Paul's blade sword. Or, or yeah. Blade. Yeah, it's a gun blade, I think they gun call blade. it. Gun blade, there we go. Yeah. I watched the That's trailer awesome. for Final Fantasy 16, and like some of the characters is like, is this an older version of that same character, or is this a different dude? <laughs> 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 I couldn't follow what was happening very well. Oh, crap. 
treasure on the ground, but my pet's still 50 seconds out. Darg! <laughs> Darg! <laughs> Welcome back, pet. All this stuff is now yours. You just got back. Yep, <laughs> and you're probably about to leave again. 